Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. And oh my god, it's been so long since I again took a sit down with me sort of a video. <sighs> but um this uh, today what I wanted to really talk about was my re-evaluation results. So, I had done this in 10th grade as well and if you haven't checked that video, make sure to check it out. But um yeah, for 12th as well uh, for my board exam, CBSE board exams, I um submitted three of my subjects for re-evaluation because I felt like I had done better than what I had um the better than the marks that I had received. So, I really wanted to um you know, check if there's any mistake or something, so I just applied for re-evaluation and i got my results back like a couple of weeks before but i've been this i mean like there's so much going on i have like lots of work so i didn't really um I have time to film this and i i think i posted already a video before so there were some videos i had previously taken and i had to upload so i didn't actually um make this video yet but yeah th- today i thought that i'll just um make this video and then upload it um anyways so uh, if you already don't know my marks uh, before before revaluation were physics 93 chemistry 90 english 98 uh, home science 98 and biology 99 um so i applied for revaluation uh, for the subjects biology english and chemistry uh now chemistry was something i really sure shot wanted to apply for revaluation because i expected at least 95 um though 90 is enough to meet my um, university criteria and the cut off and all that for uh, abroad applications this was something i wanted to do personally for my own satisfaction because i wa- i knew i could like have done better so I, that's why i applied for chemistry uh for biology i got 99 and the reason i applied was i didn't still understand where i lost that one mark um so i mean i thought i'll just like apply for revaluation see if it was a question answer was it an mcq so that is why i applied for biology because i was really really wanting my goal honestly uh, when i started 12th grade was uh to get 100 in biology which unfortunately i didn't get So just to see if that was possible I applied for revaluation and um for English I got 98 but then uh before revaluation so um I again English I didn't really make any mistakes in MCQs or anything so I was like where could I have gone wrong and even uh, letter writing and all that format was all perfect so I didn't really know where I lost marks uh so again I thought I'll apply for revaluation and see what outcome I get Uh I think a few days after board exams uh the revaluation website was open I applied for chemistry English and biology and um, I applied for first marks verification that's the first step so then I went for photocopy so I received the photocopy for all three subjects I checked I saw where I went wrong and I and I think uh, boards also apply, uh, upload a marking scheme in their website So I checked that and I checked textbooks and I saw if I could get marks in different places and um I marked those questions and I again you have to type it in that portal and um then I applied for revaluation. So now let's come to the increased part of revaluation results. So for biology I did not unfortunately get any increase. Um I was a bit upset but yes when I saw the photocopy I realized out of all the questions in biology The only mistake I made was in the first question which was an MCQ. So I didn't know what to do. It was an MCQ question and um, the answer was um like you know straight forward so you can't really get marks there. Um otherwise um chemistry from 90 I got 91. Not much of an increase just one mark increase. So my chemistry results now is 91. then um uh, english i was i was quite happy english my marks went from 98 to 100 so yes i was very very happy about that i mean um i've never got a 100 in my board exams even in 10th grade i got 99 in social science 99 in science and 99 in maths i did not touch 100 in any of them i think for boards i did put in a lot of effort for english and that's why i was a little upset with 98 but then yeah with revaluation i did end up getting 100 in english 
so I'm quite happy about that and um, I think overall um, yeah so overall my score now is again physics 93 English 100 chemistry 91 um, biology 99 and home science 98 and my overall percentage now is 96.2 percent yeah that's what i really wanted to share in today's video i thought i should upload a video and i completely forgot so here's that update and uh, let me know if you also applied for evaluation in the comments down below and yeah so let me know how your day has been going and how your vacation or summer after school has been going so that's one thing and also 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 I got my driver's license. Mail's here! I heard the squeal. Is that it? My driver's license! Yes, guys. So it's been um, quite interesting. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's lots of stuff going on. So, and yeah, and also many of you had loved my previous video about physics and how I scored 93. And you guys had asked for the other subjects as well. So definitely I will be making a, a similar uh, video for biology, chemistry, English, and even home science if you all have home science as your subject. Uh, but yeah, so that is my plan as of now. And um, I'm looking forward to the upcoming videos and I hope you'll be there to support me as well. So yeah, um, see you in the next video. Bye.